George Randolph Scott, January 23, 1898, March 2, 1987, was an American film actor whose career spanned the years from 1928 to 1962. As a leading man for all but the first three years of his cinematic career, Scott appeared in a variety of genres, including social dramas, crime dramas, comedies, musicals, albeit in non-singing and non-dancing roles, adventure tales, war films, and a few horror and fantasy films however. His most enduring image is that of the tall in the saddle western hero. Out of his more than 100 film appearances over 60 were in westerns. Thus, of all the major stars whose name was associated with a western, Scott most closely identified with it. Scott's more than 30 years as a motion picture actor resulted in his working with many acclaimed screen directors, including Henry King, Reuben Mamoulian, Michael Curtis, John Cromwell, King Vidor, Alan Dwan, Fritz Lang, Sam Peckinpa, Henry Hathaway, eight times, Ray Enright, seven, Edwin L. Marin, seven, Andre de Toth, six, and most notably, his seven film collaborations with Bud Bowditcher. Scott also worked with a diverse array of cinematic leading ladies, from Shirley Temple and Irene Dunn to Mae West and Marlene Dietrich. Tall at six feet two in. During the early 1950s, Scott was a consistent box office draw. In the annual motion picture Herald Top 10 Polls, he ranked 10th in 1950, 7th in 1951, and 10th in both 1952 and 1953. Scott also appeared in the Quigley's Top 10 Money Makers poll from 1950 to 1953.